So today we're going to talk about the number one sign a man over 40 will be loyal to you and commit to you. Now, I'm really excited to be sharing this conversation with you because uh, earlier today I was speaking to a dear friend of mine. He uh, is married for 10 years with a woman, uh, obviously a woman. Well, it doesn't have to obviously be. Uh, but why I'm, I'm bringing this up is they're both divorced people. So they both are in their 50s. They're both divorced. They've been together for 10 years. They've raised children together. They each have children from separate relationships. And one of the things I've observed about him as a person, and, and they're very loyal to each other. And I, I share this with you because there was one time that they asked me to be their counselor over a dispute that the two of them have. And what I witnessed about each one of them, and particularly about him, I thought it was rather, you know, just it just stood out for me. Now, why men over 40? Because those men who are in their 20s and 30s oftentimes don't come to the table with the same emotional baggage that men in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and even 70s show up in the dating marketplace. So I just feel like it's vastly different. And I'm going to get into some of the granular reasons why this is the case. But there is a sign that men demonstrate to demonstrate that they'll be loyal and they'll commit to you very early on if you pick up on these clues. So the number one sign is, well, let me say it. Let me rewind for a second. I'm going to talk about it. But have you ever heard the term in real estate? What's the most important thing in real estate? It's location, location, location. Okay. Well, the number one thing needed for a healthy, happy relationship for an individual is character, character, and character. Let me repeat that. Character, character, and character. Character is the number one sign a man will be loyal and commit to you. Now, character isn't about men paying the bill on the first date, nor is it about opening car door, nor is it about what other chivalrous things men do. That's not necessarily a sign of their character. We're going to get into you know, seven, eight, nine different aspects of character in a few minutes to illustrate genuine character. But in my mind, character is about being an emotional grown-up. That's what I'm really talking about. So if I replace the word character, I say emotional grown-up, emotional grown-up, emotional grown-up. That is a strong sign that a person will be capable of being loyal and committed to you. Now, one of the ways to test emotional maturity, if you've been following my work for a while, you are familiar with something that I call the dating vows, the dating vows. And here's a list of it. And there's a link below to get a copy of my dating vows. Now, if you've ever heard the phrase, have you ever heard the phrase, women are the gatekeepers of sex and men are the gatekeepers of commitment? Well, the dating vow is an agreement two people make once they decide to have a physical sexual relationship. And this will demonstrate a man's character and emotional maturity if you do what I suggest. And that is the dating vows is an agreement two people make with one another at the time that they're physically intimate. And the, the vows are simple. I agree to explore the process of getting to know you with the intent to declare something serious in the next three to six months. I agree to be monogamous sexually while we have regular sex together. I agree not to actively seek and meet and date others while we're in the process of getting the, we're in the process of dating, including taking down our dating profiles. I agree to speak up if this isn't working for me versus pulling back, ghosting, or disappearing. And I agree to invest regular time in the process to getting to know you, which looks like spending one or two or three days and nights a week together, doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interest, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork, building skills, both in our personal and our professional life. Intimacy, both physical and emotional intimacy that leads to either moving in together, getting married. Now, 90% of men will bail on this because they know women, by the way, it's because women, thousands and thousands of women will have sex without any agreement. Those men who don't agree to it aren't emotional grownups. They don't have character. Character says, I'm entering into this process to getting to know you with some serious intent of commitment in the future. I'm not looking to do to just get laid. 
And look, I recognize that we are swimming in a sea of emotional dysfunctionality. We're swimming with a sea of people who are users or spenders. And spenders are those people that want companionship, connection, and sex, but they're incapable of commitment because we have a deeply wounded population. So to determine a person's character, I'm going to give you some clues now to really assess a person beyond the surface. And one of the signs that a man is has character, he's an emotional grown-up, is his actions consistently matches his words. You know, sadly, again, with a broken population and an overworked population and an and a uncertain population of people in the dating marketplace, their actions don't consistently match their words. That's not to suggest that we can make a mistake. Look, I've said I was going to call someone at times and I fell asleep on the couch. That happens. But it's not consistent. When someone's actions are not consistently matching their words, that's a red flag that they lack the character to truly invest from an emotionally mature, grown-up way. You know, folks, I cannot stress emotional maturity and emotional um, awareness is being so critically important. So, you know, when I said those, you know, in real estate, it's location, 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 it's emotional maturity, emotional maturity, emotional maturity, or also character, character, character. The second good sign that this man has character is that they just operate from a generous and kind nature, They're just generous and kind. You know, I think sadly a lot of human beings are myopic. They're very they're very tunnel visioned. They only think about their own needs. Think about that. You know, I think it's, you know, in the dating process people don't operate how can I give? It's like how can I get? And by the way, I've seen this with you women too. You many of you women are very entitled. So, and, and very wounded and broken, and you have walls up. And so your capacity to be generous and kind or a man's capacity to be generous and kind could be a, a reflection of their walls being up because they want to protect themselves from getting hurt. But a true person of emotional maturity is willing to risk the pain, is willing to risk the pain because they operate from a generous and kind place from the inside. Ah, number three, sign a man has character or emotional maturity. That they communicate clearly without wanting to be right. There's an old saying, do you wanna be right or do you wanna be happy? Look at human beings are not perfectly aligned in the way they think things, the way they contextualize things. Human beings are rather unique in their own sense of reality. So when someone operates from a place of I'm right and you're wrong, then they're not seeing the bigger picture from an emotionally mature place because, you know, it's not about compromising oneself. It's okay to, it's okay to agree to disagree, but if you operate, when a person operates from a place of I'm right, you're wrong, then chances are that they're not going to be rather loyal to the relationship unless it serves them exactly the way they want it to be. And that's actually a rather controlling person. I'm going to assume that most of you watching my videos do not want to end up with a man who's a controlling type of person. By the way, my coffee mug says, don't make me go all psycho roommate on you. <laughs> Um, another sign that a man has character as an emotional grown-up is they don't use people. They are very clear about commitment. Look at men who come on strong, the love bombers, the players, those men that are only driven by their physical needs. They don't care of the, the, the collateral damage of chasing sex. Men who are of, of good emotion, character, of good of emotional maturity, are very clear about wanting commitment. So when you hear a man say, I'm not looking for anything serious, I just want something casual. You know, getting to know someone, you know, is a very big investment. 
It's an emotional investment. So if you're operating from a, let's just see how it goes. I don't know if I want anything serious. Then they lack the character and emotional maturity because they recognize that when you are only caring about your own needs, you might be using another person by de facto, especially when it comes to human pair bonding, especially when the fact that the minute two people have physical intimacy with one another, Oftentimes, one person or both bond with one another. So it's just that awareness that they show up. They are clear about commitment because loyalty is paramount in their life. They operate from a place of do no harm to others. In other words, don't it don't hurt someone when you're in the in the in the throes of getting what you want. In other words, don't do harm to others. Okay, number five, they have their act together. They have their act together. You know, we, like I said earlier, we are swimming in a sea of emotional dysfunctionality. Some people have such deep and physical pain, they lack self-control. They chase sex, they chase drugs, they chase alcohol, they chase partying because they're trying to numb the pain. When a person, so... There is a significant percentage of the population that is so rather wounded after divorce that they often revert to drugs, alcohol, partying. So when you see someone's, you know, dating profile, actually, if you look at someone's Instagram profile, if it shows that they're partying a lot, that's a person oftentimes that cares more about physical pleasure. It's just an observation I have. And you have to be careful because... You know, partying too much can lead to people that are avoiding true pain from their past relationships. And since I mentioned past relationship, another great sign that he's going to be loyal to you and commit to you, that he's an emotionally mature person of character, is that they've healed from their past relationships. I can speak to this from personal experience right now. It took me a year to heal from a treasured relationship that ended. I had to go through the stages of grief, including, you know, and recognizing that at first I, I was in shock and I bypassed the pain. And we have to experience the pain and then lean into the healing through the pain. It is through the pain and the healing of the pain that we can actually be better prepared to be loyal and commit to someone in the future. So I'm just addressing that we are, a lot of people are so broken from their past relationships. How can you tell? They incessantly talk about their past relationship. They're doing comparisons all the time. And so to the person that they're dating, in other words, you know, I publicly talk about my things because I'm here to be an educator and a teacher. So I don't want to put myself in that category. But if you're incessantly talking about past relationships to a new partner, that's not a good sign that they've healed from their past relationship. Now, another great sign that a man is emotionally mature, grown up, uh, has character is that they do introspective work. They work on themselves. They grow beyond their limitations, their wounds, and their traumas. They do introspective work. The reason why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? A Journey of Personal Development, Self-Help, Spiritual Work, is to invite every... It's not a dating and relationship book. By the way, there's a link below to get a copy of the book. It's a journey of self-exploration when you can when you understand your love attachment style, when you know what your triggers are, when you know your weaknesses, when you're, when you're aware of your fears, your insecurities, when you take ownership from your past relationships, when you have victor consciousness, um, and most importantly, in this introspective work is learning better communication skills. Folks, if you've not read the book, Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. I highly recommend reading this book. Let me explain why. It should have been titled Compassionate Communication. Again, link below to get all the books I recommend. Okay. Most human beings have weak relationship skills, particularly in articulating their feelings when a boundary has been crossed. First, you have to learn what your boundaries are. 
But sadly, articulating your feelings when those boundaries are crossed. Sadly, many women are wearing duct tape. They're fearful of speaking up. And then when they do, they oftentimes do it in a combative way, making the person out to become defensive. Nonviolent communication is a way to speak from the heart, from a more heart-centered space and not a combative, accusatory way that we oftentimes do this. And some people are so completely unaware. They are so radically unconscious to their behaviors. And then they wonder, you know, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again or dating the same person over and over again, expecting different results. Since we mentioned speaking from the heart, they have an empathetic and protective of your feelings, meaning they genuinely care about your feelings. They're protective of your feelings. And I don't mean protective from the armor sense. I mean from the sense of they are mindful that their actions, as I said earlier, and their words have consequences. So they're not about chasing the sex. They're not chasing the entertainment. They're not chasing the unhealthy attachment. They recognize that your feelings matter. So they're always, by the way, a healthy man and woman is, I, I like what Chris Rock says, you're in service to one another from an empathetic, protective place. In other words, your feelings matter. And when you think about trust, and we're going to lean into this right now, the trust is paramount, demonstrating trust. And trust isn't just about fidelity with another person. Trust is do I have this other person's best, best interest at heart? See, loyalty is all about having the other person's best interest at heart. And when you operate from a place of character, from an emotional mature place, this number one sign, we have a greater chance to commit to you and to be genuinely loyal to you. And so start paying attention to these clues. I know we get wrapped up in the entertainment, the fun, and the romance, but what's most important is what's like the iceberg, what lies beneath is their character and their emotional maturity. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know. If it is, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this video. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear what you have to say. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if you want to connect with me directly, there's links below to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. There's links to join my group. I just spit. There's links to join my group called Midlife Love Mastery. You can get the books I recommend. You can get my dating vows, join my mailing list, all in the show notes and in the first comment. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Barrick of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow. There's a teddy bear behind me. I encourage you to give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.